All right, because the internet demands it. Whiff of waffle cone versus whiff of waffle cone. Hey, fragrance family, I'm Dave, and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now, you know that I'm a big fan of imaginary authors. Recently, they made a new version of Whiff of Waffle Cone. Now, the original Whiff of Waffle Cone came out a couple years ago, and this one is made in collaboration with an ice cream company called Salt and Straw. Now, with that collaboration, this scent is very much inspired by ice cream shops. And to me, whenever I first smelled it, I got the smell of ice cream and waffle cones being made in an ice cream shop, it immediately brought back scent memories of a child going to maybe Baskin Robbins or something like that. It is a very visceral, very realistic type of smell and it is amazing too. If you wanna go watch my full review, you can go up there and watch that. Now today, I'm not gonna go over a full review of both of these, but I wanna kind of talk about these because apparently, there was an uproar about these on social media. And the only reason I knew that was because imaginary authors posted kind of debunking myths about Salt and Straw, the new version. Now, right away, one of the most interesting things about this is that they changed the artwork on here, which I love the new artwork. Um, I thought the old one was okay, but because it is supposed to be reminiscent of Salt and Straw, they have the ampersand from the Salt and Straw logo. I thought that was just kind of meh. It wasn't a great design in my opinion. This one definitely looks more like Imaginary Authors. Now with this apparently comes a slight price increase. Part of the price that was agreed upon was a certain price point that was uh, made by Salt and Straw. So they hit that price point with this version. The new version is just the normal standard price for Imaginary Authors. To me, that's not really a big deal. That's not why I come to this. I'm not gonna argue over 10 dollars or whatever. I mean, I think these are great fragrances all by themselves, especially with how everything else is increasing in price. To see something raise in price, it's not going to surprise me, and I really don't care at this point. Now, notes in these are slightly different. In the original one, they had vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, amiris, orgeat, Saigon cinnamon, and ice cream shop. Now, in the new one, they have most of those here, except for they switch out amiris for sandalwood. Now, one of the things they talked about in that post about debunking myths was that sandalwood was already in the original version. And I may even have mentioned that in my review. I don't remember, but I do get a kind of uh, sandalwood type of smell. Sandalwood can be really powdery and kind of go into almost a vanilla type of territory. So they use that in the original to kind of coax out that vanilla powdery uh, type of vibe that they get in here. The reason why they put more sandalwood in here and they put Amiris here, I'm guessing, is because that the balance of the ingredients kind of changed a little bit. Now, another thing to really note here is that even though the ingredients are on the back here, that's not a recipe. They're not telling you the recipe of the fragrance. These are just kind of the uh, kind of accords that you might be familiar with. I mean, of course, one of the notes here is scoop shop. In the old one, it's ice cream shop. There is no ice cream shop type of accord. We understand that. But even in regular fragrances, whenever they list out accords, that's not an ingredients list. That's just telling you what to look for for the scent. The same is true here. All that to say that I mean, you really just can't put a lot of stock in these little kind of uh, bullet points here for the ingredients. It's just meant to kind of be a snapshot of what to expect in the scent. Performance on these I find was really interesting. Now this one has been aging for a long time and so it's really matured and it's got to its fullest potential that it could be at this point. This one is pretty new. I just got this one in the mail not too long ago. I don't know how long it's been macerating before that but just to let you know kind of age here but the new one is a lot stronger on me than the old one is both in projection and in longevity. I got a couple more hours out of this actually than the original one. Now, as far as the scents go, there are a couple of differences here that I found really interesting and noticeable, but at the same time, the kind of vibe that you get from both of these is pretty much identical. When you are comparing fragrances like this, the kind of temptation is to spray one hand, spray the other hand at the same time, smell them back to back, just over and over and over again. The problem with that is that you don't experience a fragrance this close <laughs> every day. You experience a fragrance emanating off your skin, mixing with the air, interacting with your skin and heat, your clothes, different environments, everything. That is how you experience a fragrance. So whenever I compare these two, I want to kind of delineate how I smell them on my skin two millimeters away versus how I experience the scent in just a daily routine way. Now, up close, 
right away there is a small difference with the original one, I get almost like this date-like sweetness in here. I'm not really sure where that came from. I like that about that as far as the beginning of it. I kind of almost miss that here. It seems like it's almost, pardon the pun, it seems like it's almost scooped out a little bit where that note is. I miss that aspect of this, and so I really like the opening maybe a little bit better, at least right on my skin. In the air though, I can't really tell that much of a difference. What I did notice though is that the new one had a much better and I think more complex cinnamon note. And that cinnamon added just a little bit of spice in there, just a little bit of uh, almost a woodiness there, just the cinnamon-like quality here that I thought was really excellent and really added some complexity to, this, to the scent. Now the original one had it too, but just not as much. This new one though, I think is amazing. And that cinnamon thing kind of hangs on for a long time in a really good way. I thought it was much more complex for far longer. Towards the end of the life, you get kind of just a musky vanilla-like thing that is good and it is nice, but it's not as good as this one is. The new one, I think, is just so much better, especially towards the end of its life. And when I try these, if I were to reach for one of them, I would reach for the new one every time. I do miss that kind of syrupy, sweet, date-like accord at the top, but I can deal with it because of the way this develops over time, I think is much, much better. I understand that some people may get a little miffed at fragrance companies wanting to maybe change their fragrances or rearrange them or reformulate them or what have you. But I think that Imaginary Authors does it really well. They've done that a couple of times, and I think each time has been only an improvement on the original design. All that to say, I think you're in really good hands here. The original one is excellent, but the new one I think is just even better in my opinion. If you have the original one, I mean, I don't know if there's necessarily a reason to get the uh, new one unless you just run out, but if you want to get the new one, you're not missing anything to get the old one. I think just get the new one. The new one is fantastic. Awesome, awesome scent. Definitely check it out. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together. Great. What do you think though? Have you tried both of these? I would love to hear your thoughts and your experiences with both of these. Let me know down in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.